When should you sell your stocks? The year 2020 has gotten off to a shaky start for the stock market, and as a result, you might be feeling the impulse to sell some of your stocks to minimize more losses. Selling equities during a bear market may make you feel better in the short term, but doing so reflexively just because stock prices are falling is not a sound long-term investing strategy. Because investing in the stock market is inherently volatile, investors should be prepared for the possibility of periodic market sell-offs. When would a good time be to sell the stocks? Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we'll teach you when you should sell your stocks. Yeah, you heard it right. So let's start our video. There are generally five cases in which we think it is justified to sell a stock. Let's discuss them one by one. Number 1. Change in Investment Thesis it's possible that the reasons you bought a stock no longer hold. Ask yourself whether the reasons you bought a stock are valid. If you're going to invest in stocks, you should have more than just a desire to profit in mind. It's a good idea to sell a company's stock if anything fundamentally changes. For instance, the company's market share is decreasing, possibly due to a lower-priced competitor's superior product. The rate of increase in sales has slowed significantly. Because of this, the organization's new leaders are making careless decisions, such as taking on excessive debt. Of course, this isn't an all-inclusive list of everything you can do. One of the best reasons to sell is if your investment thesis is negatively altered. Number 2. Company Gets Acquired a company's announcement that it has agreed to be bought is another possible solid cause to sell. Typically, the business's stock price rises to the agreed-upon purchase price once the acquisition is disclosed. It's a good idea to lock in your gains as soon as the acquisition is announced because the opportunity for additional gains can be relatively restricted. Many factors determine whether or not selling your stock is a good idea. Cash, shares, or some mix of the two can be used to buy a corporation. Shares often fall to their acquisition cost as soon as an all-cash deal is completed. Share price could plummet again if the deal doesn't go through as planned. After announcing an all-cash acquisition, it's almost always a bad idea to hold on to your stock. To decide whether to hold or sell in stock or cash in stock deals, you must consider if you want to be a shareholder in the acquiring business. Number 3. Rebalancing Your Portfolio in one or more ways, your financial portfolio can become unbalanced. As a result, most investors need to periodically rebalance their portfolios, which may necessitate selling some shares. In most cases, these are the two most common triggers for a stock sale. Shares that have risen in value may account for much of your portfolio's total worth. Even though this is a nice problem to have, you can decide to sell some of your stock to diversify your portfolio. It would help if you gradually lowered your stock assets as you approach retirement in favor of safer investments like bonds. Investing in stocks as a percentage of your whole portfolio can be calculated by subtracting your age from 110, which is a common rule of thumb. You may want to consider selling some of your stock if your portfolio appears to be overly stock heavy. Number 4. Need Money it is recommended that you not put any money you anticipate needing over the next few years into the stock market. Investing in the stock market can be quite risky. However, selling your possessions can be the best option if you are in desperate need of financial assistance. You may wish to buy a property, but first, you need to liquidate some stocks to fund the down payment. You might also wish to transfer your stock holdings into more secure investments such as certificates of deposit because you have children who are planning to attend college in the future. Number 5 need to invest somewhere else for a better opportunity. If everything went according to plan, you would never be short of extra cash to invest whenever you come across a potentially lucrative investment opportunity. Because this is probably not the case, you might decide to sell some of your shares to invest the money in a different way. Let's say you come across an amazing opportunity to purchase one of your favorite stocks, and you decide that you want 10% of your portfolio to be invested in this particular investment. If you do not have 10% of your portfolio invested in cash equivalents, you may choose to liquidate some of the shares you own in one of your other stocks or exchange-traded funds. ETFs in order to generate some additional funds. Even while there's probably nothing wrong with the other stock or ETF, realizing there's an outstanding chance somewhere for the long term can be a solid cause to sell it. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comments section how this video was. I really hope that you found this one interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more interesting facts and stories about economics. And until then, stay tuned.